Hey, hello and welcome to this tutorial. This is going to be me discussing some issues that I have with the cloth brush settings in Blender. So it's an amazing tool, it does work really well, but it doesn't work out of the box in a way that I find very intuitive uh, or easy to follow or every time that I open Blender I forget that these settings are needed and then I end up messing around, it's not working, I get a bit frustrated. I stop doing the cloth simulation, I do it offline, I do it in a different way, I don't do it with the sculpt brushes and all that sort of stuff. So if that's the situation that you're in, then that's pretty much all I'm covering in this video. I will talk about some different features if I feel like it's appropriate, but uh, for right now, let's just go with solving the cloth brush problem. So you can see what I'm pressing on the side there. Um, and that should be good for you to follow if you don't know what I'm doing. But I am just subdividing that plane, shading it smooth, putting myself on a matte cap so that the sculpting looks a little bit better. And then going into sculpt mode, I like to drag this out. And then I'm going to just go for the cloth brush. And the ideal scenario is that, all right, I've gone for the cloth brush and now I want to start sculpting cloth and this is the situation I end up in where I just grab the corner that I want to pull and I start moving it. It is working but then it's kind of like I'm like what well, that didn't well that didn't do what I wanted okay that wasn't very good so one way around that is you can actually just click initially to prime like the simulation area and then it works a little bit better like if I click and then move it I find it works a little bit better but it's still not doing very well and then if I actually, the situation I end up in is I click in the middle of it and I'm like, it's not working, why isn't it working? And I start shaking it around and it starts working. Um, and just to, but then it's out of control and it's not what I want uh, out of what I'm sculpting. You know, I, I'm not, if I'm going to sculpt it, I'm not going to go like that and then hope for the best based on whatever random output I get. Um, so a solution could be to turn this up to full. Uh, like this. So the strength now is on full and it's actually working really good. Uh, apart from it isn't because what's the point in having a strength value if you've got to turn it up to full just to get it to actually start moving something in a way that you uh, that you would like. So what we're going to do instead is bring this back to 0.5 and the second setting here that we can change is in the tool settings or it's you know somewhat around there but we're going to go with it over here and we're going to change the cloth mass so now i'm at 0.5 strength the mass is lower and it's going to start moving around a little bit nicer still not great it just doesn't feel great and finally we'll get to the solution that actually works but it's important to understand those other settings first because they help the solution here is actually to well when the, when this is clicked down it's simulating this cloth but every time you stop it's not simulating it anymore and actually when we look we can see that it is almost you know, it's, there's a low frame rate to the movement that I'm applying, uh, even when I am moving through it. And I think it's that's pretty much the issue. It's those first simulation steps. It just kind of ignores all of them. Um, and so the solution to that is to change the, the spacing. So we're on space mode. There's not really a better mode to my knowledge. Spacing, but we, if I lower that all the way, it's going to be simulating that more frequently now, which is what we need to get this to work in a way that's uh, good. It might be more intensive on your computer, and that's probably why this is set so high by default. But if you can find a setting that is lower that works well for your computer, then that's going to be ideal. I think the drag brush is really uh, responsive for this. So when I start doing that now, we can see that it's working in a way that I find actually makes sense like I'm not sat around 
kind of inaccurately sculpting this this cloth. I feel like I can actually create shapes that I would like to create. Um, and I don't really like the local simulation area either. Again, that is an optimization. So if your computer can't handle it, then keep it on. But the local simulation can be turned to global. And now I can actually start to do things that on my computer work fine, but you just gotta be careful based on what you're running on. So that's pretty good to me, I like that. Uh, and that's how it gets it working. So we can actually lower the strength here. And it's going to start working. Less, you know, as you'd expect and increase the strength. And it's going to start working more. Um, and it really is just all tied to that. So if I turn the spacing back up, that's also kind of equivalent to lowering the strength in the way that it seems to work but at least we've got it working in a way that is predictable and that was my main issue with the whole thing. So there's some other settings here, you definitely don't want to leave it on 1% for some of these over here. So if I actually go to the snake hook, it kind of breaks my blender, but I don't think it's going to break the stream here. So I click on it. it it's not doing anything, right? So I'm going to turn the strength up. And it just really isn't doing anything, so I'm going to turn the spacing higher. And now suddenly it works. So it probably does seem like there's an issue on the Blender side with this. Because that doesn't seem right. But uh, ignoring that, what we can also do is uh, use the grab brush, and that really doesn't mind the 10% default. Because this grab brush always works and it's really good. You know, there's not there's not very many things that I would use with these. I don't do characters, so um, I just want something that usually that's draped over something. So this is more than enough sculpting for me. But if you're a character artist, then some of this is just going to be really useful for you. And yeah, that's kind of kind of what I want to cover because. It just really isn't working that well at the moment. Um, maybe it is an issue that I should have put on the uh, on the bug report, but I think it's just due to the optimizations per platform. You can get it to work really well, just not on default settings mostly. So there you go. Hope that solved some issues uh, and given a little bit more insight into where all these settings are that can affect this. And that's it from me, and I'll see you next one.